Hello up bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a next gen news video. Today we're taking a look at the first proper showcase of the PlayStation 5 UI. Oh my gosh, it looks pretty decent. It's got some revolutionary new features and it's pretty much going to put a lot of YouTube guide and makers of tutorials maybe out of business. So no, don't like this video. Don't absolutely go out there and buy a PlayStation 5. It's bad for me. Forget it. I'm all about the Xbox from now on. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Let's go, next gen news. So this literally went live a few hours ago on the PlayStation YouTube channel. And there's four features we're gonna be talking about. Activities, on-screen cards, trophy progression, and pretty much being able to jump into levels or challenges. Obviously, it's still got all the bells and whistles of being going into your store, checking out your trophies, etc. But it's much clean and you won't actually be leaving the game anymore. No great big blue screen fading away it's going to be an interface over whatever game you're playing. So at a moment's notice, you can come out what you're doing and it won't feel like you're missing out on something. You can still be checking the actual gameplay behind all of these little cards. So the big one is activities, and this could go down pretty well. It's going to pretty much list stuff that's going on. It might be news or development news from the game makers itself. So at the moment, obviously, they're referencing Sapboy, so it might show some stuff from the company that's making it. I don't know if it is Media Molecule. I'm sure they outsource this one. Uh, I'm not too glued up. I ain't going to lie. But they're going to be obviously showing this a lot. So if you're playing your Ark Survival Evolved, you may get the latest patch notes pop up as a card if publishers go ahead and use this feature a lot more. I'm not too sure how it all works. Is it going to be on Sony's end? Will you have to connect stuff up? Will it all just be down to the developers actually making sure this stuff is live on consoles? Another key part of these activities is the ability to see your trophy achievements or your progress in a game as well. And the new feature is that you'll be able to go back and forth in between certain sections of your game to complete bits and bobs that you may have missed. Now this may not make much sense in a big open world game or a big story led game, but certain games where it's about choosing more levels, you'll be able to go back into a level. So you can see the big sort of description is that you've got one with like 33% progression and then you can flip over and you can go to the next one that's going to have 60% progression and you can pretty much choose to take on that activity instead. And not only is it going to give you the options to go back to missions or stuff that you've not done before, it's also going to keep carrying on with objectives for you. So it will list stuff, what you should be doing in the game. And it also give you a rundown of exactly how long the game or how long Sony and PlayStation think it's going to take you to complete it. This is pretty cool. This is a cool, cool feature. Apparently it's going to be personalised based on your gameplay and your feedback. So obviously it's not going to be the same for everyone. But yeah, it's a really interesting thing. I guess the most obvious explanation of what you're going to be using this for is getting collectibles in a game. Maybe you're going to be going around the old Assassin's Creed games or a brand new one collecting something and it's going to say that you've missed one in this area. That is super, super nice feature. Again, are many game makers going to be making use of this or is it going to be something that just only Sony are doing with their PlayStation games? So right, I said jokingly that PlayStation is kind of killing YouTube guides and tutorials as well as obviously game vlogs and articles from the press. Well, I'm not exaggerating. That is what they're trying to do here. Part of these cards, part of these side activities for PlayStation Plus members only, so you've got to be active, is the ability to go in and get yourself a little guide. This will support PlayStation 5 games and so they will have their own little mini tutorials and videos. And it's almost throwing shade. The guy explaining it in the actual official vlog is saying you don't have to go looking through long-winded videos or go looking around the interweb for different articles. We'll help you out with a game guide in the game. All jokes aside, I would love this. Obviously, I do rely a lot on guides and tutorials. I reckon it makes up at least 60% of my channel in terms of the views and stuff that rolls in. But of course, any time we can make it a lot easier for people to play a game and get the help they need if they need it, it's much better. Christ, I'm so old, I remember the days where you'd have to ring up a phone number on the back of a game manual and you'd be charged like £4 a minute just to get a guide pressing the buttons as you go through with help with Metal Gear Solid or whatever it was. I think Sony have fully realised that a lot of gamers, a lot of people now use so much YouTube while they're playing their games. Whether it's on in the background or whether it is just for that quick guide showing them where something is, you don't really want to have to spend minutes going in and out. So I think this is a good feature. I don't think it'll necessarily replace YouTube created content necessarily in this way because some people always do want just that extra bit of explanation or they want to see a collection of tutorials or guides or info. But definitely for a lot of certain games, I think this is going to be great stuff. 
The rest of the video is also keen to point out how easy it is with the brand new party system, although it's not really reinventing the wheel. You'll get an interaction that you can pop up on your screen saying a friend has created a party. You can then go ahead and join that group and then you can go ahead and talk straight away without a mic plugged in. Don't forget the DualSense controller does have an inbuilt mic. Again, another super cool feature is that if you're seeing a game, your friend's playing something, he wants to show you something quick, you don't again have to come in and out. You can set that up as a card and you can place it anywhere on your game screen. Maybe you're doing something together. Maybe it'll be a case of playing a multiplayer game and you want to see his point of view. Well, apart from big shooters and battle royales where you normally see your friend after you've died's point of view, you don't really get to see that. So it will be cool to see how someone's actually doing while you're both alive as well. If that's a feature they do have, that would be really super interesting. If Xbox has quick resume, PlayStation has quick play with your friends. If some of them are already playing another game, in this instance of its Destruction uh, Match, Destruction All-Stars, that's the one. I was going to call it Derby then, but yeah, again, I'm old as shit. Uh, you can just dive straight in. You'll click on this card and it will bring you up and you'll be able to join and start playing the game with them. That, again, is a really cool little feature. Definitely unique stuff going here, PlayStation 5. I know you may feel like a bit X-Boy fanboy because we've obviously seen a lot more news about the Xbox in the last few weeks, but now we're starting to get more news about PlayStation. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more hyped, especially about what the UI and what the next gen might offer us. This next section of the video is talking about the 4K features in terms of screenshots and recording gameplay. Now this caused a bit of controversy because it was revealed that from now on you'll be able to record other people's conversations in parties and groups. Now originally it got reported this would be always on so you'd always have some sort of recording going on of your activities but it's not true at all. It's only in the case of reporting someone. So if you do decide something's gone on you can go ahead and press record and it will record a certain amount of time backwards and then you'll be able to use that if you wanted to report something that was said during that party. It's up to other people to decide whether or not that's a good thing or bad thing. Personally, I think it's good. Hopefully, it reduces the amount of abuse that could go on between players sometimes, and I think that is a good idea. But the video doesn't really go into that. It just stresses that you can take 4K screenshots and you'll be able to record lots of content in good, crisp, nice, high definition. Now, maybe not as revolutionary, but certainly keeping us bang up to date with everything else going on is that what games you follow is what's going to give you that news feed what's going to be popping up in cards so very much like your mobile phone you swipe left or you swipe right on whatever card it is it'll give you the latest info going around the world based on what you normally search and stuff so the smart ai is really there it's really apparent in the playstation 5 and again i think it's another great little feature as long as you can really control that and you can really decide what kind of content you see and it's not going to be just adverts for mba 2k loot boxes when you have no interest in that game then i am totally down for this and that is pretty much it guys that is the rundown of this little demo showing the ui and obviously a bit of gameplay from them two games although not much loving the idea loving the reveal of this again very different xbox obviously gave their xboxes out to influencers they've been drip feeding that information over the last few weeks but this again is the first time we get to see something properly that isn't just some leaked content so all good stuff i'm going to be here next gen news every single day for the next month or so giving you a lowdown on what to expect from both consoles all brand new games that are coming out so make sure you're locked make sure you're subscribed i am the home for next gen news let's go